Initially, the early men made wooden tires for carts used for transport. Then, with time, men evolved to make the latest tires that we currently use for transportation. Previously, people cooked food on coal or wood, but now we have proper gas stoves to cook. With time, we tend to try new ways and new methods to do different things. We can also apply new methods to solve maths problems. Here is a new way for you to learn how to find cube roots. Let's have a look at it. Our objective is to find the cube root of a number. For finding the cube root of a number, we will be using the concepts learnt earlier. Radical signs and indices. We know that a radical sign can be replaced with an index making our calculations easy. For example, the cube root of a is equal to a to the power 1 upon 3. The fifth root of a is equal to a to the power 1 upon 5. The nth root of a is equal to a to the power 1 upon n. The power of the product of numbers is equal to the product of the numbers raised to that power. AB raised to the power m is equal to a raised to the power m multiplied by b raised to the power m. The power of power of a number is equal to the number raised to the product of the powers. a raised to the power m, the whole raised to the power n is equal to a raised to the power m into n, which is equal to a raised to the power mn. Find the cube root of 1728 by factorization. First, we will find the prime factors of 1728 by actual division. 1728 divided by 2 is equal to 864. 864 divided by 2 is equal to 432. 432 divided by 2 is equal to 216. 216 divided by 2 is equal to 108. 108 divided by 2 is equal to 54. 54 divided by 2 is equal to 27. 27 divided by 3 is equal to 9. 9 divided by 3 is equal to 3. 3 divided by 3 is equal to 1. So, the factors of 1728 are 1728 is equal to 2 multiplied by 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 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3. Writing the factors in exponential form, we get 1728 is equal to 2 raised to the power 6 multiplied by 3 raised to the power 3. 1728 is equal to 2 raised to the power 3 multiplied by 2 raised to the power 3 multiplied by 3 raised to the power 3. So, the cube root of 1728 is equal to 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3, which is equal to 12. Let us understand this by using the laws of indices. The cube root of 1728 is equal to 1728 to the power 1 upon 3, which is equal to 2 raised to the power 6 multiplied by 3 raised to the power 3, the whole raised to 1 upon 3, which is equal to 2 raised to the power 6, the whole raised to 1 upon 3, multiplied by 3 raised to the power 3, the whole raised to 1 upon 3, which is equal to 2 to the power 6 into 1 upon 3, multiplied by 3 to the power 3 into 1 upon 3, which is equal to 2 raised to the power 2, multiplied by 3, which is equal to 4 multiplied by 3, which is equal to 12. To summarize, we have learned to calculate the cube root of a number by applying prime factorization. Now, that made a complex problem simpler. But the more we learn, the more we earn. 
The cube root is often used to solve cubic equations. If you also want to learn more about cubes and cube roots, watch the upcoming videos. Keep imbibing. We believe in you.